On today's episode of Paranormal Generation, the team continues the investigation at Shaker Cigar Bar. Matt makes a startling discovery in the basement, while Amanda tries to contact Elizabeth. Upstairs too, because that's gonna be the only brighter. Okay. We might wind up all down in the basement together. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Because okay. right now these floors are gonna get brighter as the time goes on, because that sun's progressing. Because well, this is a daytime investigation. We're so. getting a lot of glare on our pictures up there. Okay. okay. Are we ready? All right. We're gonna ready? Uh, ready? Uh, go to the bathroom. Justin, I'm ready. Hey, you ready to go? Let's go visit Molly. Yeah. That would have really creeped us out though. There you go. Out with a badge, I like that. Investigating with a Spanish flare. El investigator of the Latin. Oh, yeah. And he just offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just offended like half, half the investigators. That's the second. <laughs> Bathroom. This is where the little girl uh, Elizabeth is supposed to haunt. Well, there's reports here in this woman's bathroom that a little girl named Elizabeth likes to mess with people. And you go into the stall, you can see her feet under, like, underneath the stall door. I'm just gonna set a recorder down right here, and then I've got a spin wheel here. I'm gonna set it right here. Uh, this is actually the stall where. Uh, People are supposed to see the feet of the little girl underneath the stall when they're sitting in there. So I'm going to set it right here and set in some Play-Doh to hold it up and see. It's really sensitive, that's why we, um, we brought this along because it would be really easy to move. And then I'm going to set up a video camera. There we go. I've got both, both the spin wheel and the bottom of the stall in frame and I'm just going to hit record. So um, what I did is went into the stall, see if I could see any little girl feet walking around or any shadows in the room. So just trying to see if the reports are true. Matt and Amanda in the women's bathroom. So this is the spot where they see little girl Elizabeth, who supposedly fell out of the apple tree. It was just an apple orchard, right? According to a psychic. According to a psychic, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the name Elizabeth, there's nothing, there's no kind, nothing to like that up. This is all something that just the psychic said, so it might not even be true. I'm gonna turn my EMF meter. Okay, right now I'm getting a bonus a steady 3.5. What about this light right above us here? What is that getting? This area here in the bathroom does have high EMFs, so maybe that's something that can cause people to think they're seeing a shadow underneath the doorway. So that's something people want to keep in mind as well. Is there a little girl named Elizabeth here? Do you like to play in here? Can you please speak loud and clear into the recorder so that we know it's you and not bleed from the other team up on the third floor? I'm hearing like water dripping, so. Yeah, I am too. That. And the construction out on the street. I'm just gonna let them know. I got 75. 
pockets in his own. Case you guys are drinking some really loud bags, it's just not going to I'm guessing because this is newer hardwood flooring in here, maybe. These they're tearing off, putting it. Could be the bathroom too. It was in the floorboards. In the back side here, they found the pile of bones, which was a combination of animal and human. So specifically in this room, I don't know the exact room, but he said in the back of the room. So they're probably throughout the place. I'm just assuming this room because of the fact. It's got the newer floor, and the bathroom looks like it maybe has a little newer floor. But this looks pretty old. He's not all ripped up. Okay. It's original hardware. So there could be other bodies in the floor. They just have it. Yeah, remodel it up to find things. Exactly. It's nice. In there? Ooh. All right, well, we really good? I think we could play on this half of the room for now. Okay. Are you picking up the construction guys again? See? Yeah, just dump that load of concrete over there on 2nd Street. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, we've already head out to lunch, so we're set. Okay. I just got somebody fired. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So Kira, why are we here during the daytime again? Well, for starters, they have a lot of things that have happened here during the day. I mean, most I think most businesses though are open during the day. And a lot of businesses have occurrences happening during the day. Right. So, you know, I mean, Bob's here by himself getting ready to go do dinner sure. over at, yeah. at the function he was talking about in his interview. You know, all during the day, he's tapped on the shoulder during the day. Things are happening during the day. So, I don't think it really matters what time of the day, because... Right. And a lot of it's residual, potentially, residual things that could have happened during the day. And that energy is reenacting itself over and over again during the day. So really, the chances are just as good. Right. In addition, I did have a chance to come through the property a month or two ago and did some still shot photos during the daytime. And I have a, uh, a picture later on I'm going to bring up. We're going to see if we can try to debunk it later in the afternoon when the sunlight gets kind of that similar position it was when I was here during the afternoon. And Matt looks better under natural sunlight than uh, <laughs> infrared. I thought Matt was a vampire. You should be asleep upside down. Some of the reason for that uh, EMF we're getting right upstairs in the back side of the bar. It also, some of the banging when you were kicking around though goes over this cooler or whatever it is behind the wall here. So I don't know if we want to go inside. It's pitch dark in there. In the cooler? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's running or anything, but just go peek in there and take a look around and try that out. 
You got your flashlight, you're good. Yeah. So, Ready. someone want to go in with him, or? Sure. You two guys go. Hello. I'll tell you guys what, just because of the safety of a latch in cooler door, Leave it open. We'll let, leave it open or let somebody stay out. Okay. I'm gonna go check out the uh, ice yeah. machine quickly. Okay. Okay. It's, it's about 67 degrees average in here. Oh, right here. Right along this wall, six. That's high. Let's take a step back. But when you step back until it goes back down to a two, so that's normal. Right, yeah. This wall up here, I'm getting a high rating. Right here, I'm getting an eight. This is when they filled one of the saws. <laughs> kind of looks like it. We should go out of the hall and demonstrate, like, shining your flashlight just out there and show, like, how, how all those objects out there, how that creates, like, all these shadows. Very good. Because one of the reports down here is people seeing shadows, and I was noticing that on the walk there you through. Go. No. I want to spend some time down around that back corner. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I just stood back there while you guys were in the cooler. It's it feels charged. Yeah. There's, there's, the EMFs are really high back. There. Yeah. I mean, you can just feel it back there. I can feel it when I come right in here. No, but, uh, but no, put the equipment aside. Are you feeling anything, though? Reaching in there. You feel that? It's definitely the smell of ozone, isn't there? Yeah, there's something around here. Where's the EMF meter? Right, what about that black box thing over there? Did I point you my flashlight at? Oh, wait, it's long. Oh yeah, a hundred. I'll tell you, when you guys were in the cooler, I walked back there, uh -huh. and my arms were just, I could feel that. Did you feel yeah, it as uh -huh. I got right about midway through there? So do you want to do EVP down here? Most definitely. Okay, where do you want to sit up? I think we in the back. Okay. We got less compressors back there, and uh, I think you know, Bob had taken us back there specifically for a reason, I think, so. Well, let's all go down there. Front quiet or back here too. Yes. Yeah. So what specifically is the story for this room? They dump garbage out of here all the time. This sparked a story about a woman, uh, of since he's owned the place, who died. Uh, this act area here was apparently very active right shortly after that lady passed, and that was a recent. You know, since he's owned the property, so federal quarters. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I don't know if we're gonna have much room to sit in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll stand. I'm going to stand back here under the high EMF field. Let's see if my headache goes away. This is Matt, Amanda, Justin, and Kurt in the back end of the basement. Shaker Cigar Bar. Are there any spirits here with us? Could you give us a sign of your presence that we can see with our eyes? Could you knock Kurt over? Could you at least touch one of us? We need to know that you're here. We'd like to communicate with you. Oh, jeez. It's coming up close. Yeah, I'm getting higher readings as I go up. Look at that. You know, that's that same pipe here that runs to where that yeah. box is. I know they're just sitting right in the middle of the room. It's even... Yeah. <laughs> just sitting there. So Matt, why do you like the K2 meter so much? I don't like the K2 meter. <laughs> that's, his, that's his rapper name. Yo, it's, yo, yo, it's Matt K2 in the house. <laughs> set, set the tri-field down there. Let's put them together and see what happens. See if we can get them to go.